Mile marker 50 is 50 places I've never been the year I turned 50. This is trip number six. Everything about Joshua Tree is unexpected. There's a little weird around every corner. Half the fun of Joshua Tree was getting there with my friend Jill Aker Ray. And now we are on the search for crazy coyote tacos. Some random little stand on the side of an Indian reservation. Don't blink. You don't want to miss the delicious. Seriously, the best homemade tortilla I've ever had. Our next stop was the Desert Hot Springs Spa Hotel, a classic example of mid-century modern architecture and the only place in the world with both hot and cold mineral soaking pools. Off the beaten path, where literally the road ends, was the thought-provoking work of assemblage artist Noah Purifoy. So art's a funny thing. Some people may see these sculptures and see a pile of junk. Others may see a commentary on social injustice. What do you see? This place was deep. With each statue, we philosophized about what it all meant. One of my favorites was called From the Point of View of Little People. So in 1998, he created this. It's called Voting Booth. Of course, a highlight of the trip was the Joshua Tree National Park. It looks prehistoric, almost like you're on another planet. Joshua Tree is a mix of terrains, mountainous, barren, and rocky. From the Joshua Trees to the Choya Cactus Garden and the bizarre rock formations, there are 191 miles of hiking trails. Straight ahead to Skull Rock. When you travel with a professional chef, choosing the right place to eat is important. And La Copine was the right place for dinner. The food was almost artistic. In fact, I was too busy eating to get out my video camera. Hot Dog Panic gets my vote for best lunch. The pop-up stand offered dogs and craft cocktails. Um, yes, please. My friend Jill mm. tried the vegan dog. Mm. Good? Mm. This is a cutting hot dog. Mine came with pulled pork. Oh my God. In the wind. The winner for a quirkiest place to get a drink, the 29 Palms Inn just outside the north entrance of the park. We enjoyed some surprisingly good ribs at the Joshua Tree Saloon, but mostly we enjoyed the company. Total strangers on their honeymoon, forced to share a booth with us. You can read more about that on my blog. Follow me on milemarker50.com and on Facebook and Instagram.